So a few months ago, we made a video covering some of the worst guest appearances on the Kill Tony show, and comedian Daniel Rawlings ended up making it to the top of the list and was arguably the worst guest appearance in terms of how he handled criticism and being made fun of to the point that he actually walked out of the show and hasn't been hasn't been back ever since. Now, keep in mind that Daniel is a legit comedian. He used to work and still works and his close friends with uh dave Chappelle. so the fact that he's so sensitive and openly bothered by all the criticism and negative comments makes this a lot more interesting because recently he was on the joe rogan podcast and actually brought up the whole situation the whole incident of him walking out of uh, the kill tony show and funny enough it did seem like joe rogan knew exactly what went down back then obviously because he's uh he's close friends with tony um and because of that daniel actually got called out for trying to lie and rewrite the narrative um about what happened and now looking back maybe there is a chance that tony doesn't want donnell back on the show because back when donnell did the show when he did kill tony i mean you could argue that the show was you know trying to survive and struggling during the lockdowns so donnell doing the show was essentially him trying to help out but i i do think that he took it a little bit too far because the whole time he was being rude by essentially interrupting a lot he was trying to hijack the show and almost making it seem like he didn't respect what was going on and you know making it making it seem like he was just there to have fun and make the whole show about himself so as soon as someone started making fun of him and then the crowd started laughing he didn't like that and he just left i mean he just walked out and never came back he actually left tony and red band red band alone with no guests for the rest of the whole hour i mean the whole show continued with just them up there which is wild going back to like not reading the comments i i think the last time i did kill tony it was probably like three or four years ago right i'll be having a good comment day joe Oh, good day. Yeah, hey, I love you, I love you. Then, yeah. then next thing, we'll ask him if he's going if he's going to walk out on Kill Tony's podcast again. Yeah, ah. yeah. well, yeah. Ah. What do you do? You gotta let that one go. I want to go back. Well, then go back. I'm afraid. The, yeah. Boy, the power go back, the, but be the ready. Power, the, I was. Wait a minute. Be First ready. of all, I was ready. But you still altered video. That's what you believe, Joe? Did you not walk off? You didn't know what the, the, the real story? That's what you know. believe? I don't know what that's happened. That's all propaganda. I had completely forgotten about I'll it. I'll tell you what happened. Up. Tell I me. was here, first of all. Okay. Black comic goes up. I'm up. I've been there two and a half hours. They just drink giving me t t t Tito's and Tito's and Tito's. They're forcing you to drink. Whatever. I know that I consume Tito's and Tito's. Right. Then I had a date, a sushi date. You know the sushi spot I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. The one that the private joint. Mm-hmm. It looks like a speakeasy. Mm -hmm. Six people. I had a reservation for that. So I'm doing this show. I told them I'm going to the bathroom because I was going to go eat. And they made it look like I ran off the show, Joe. Really? You went for that bullshit edit. I had been on the you show for two You should sue. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, you could tell that Joe Rogan was fully aware of what happened back then and how uh, and potentially how Tony felt about the whole situation. Because if you look at his reactions when Donnell is telling him uh, the story about him walking out, it's it's like a, it's like if Joe Rogan is listening to a friend tell him how he ruined his relationship with another friend that they both have in common because Joe Rogan knows that it's done. I mean, he, he knows that the whole thing is it's, it's a wrap because Joe isn't uh, responding with a positive answer. Like, Hey man, it'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be back on the, on the kill Tony show and he likes you and yada, yada, you know, it was more like, yeah, man, I mean, it's, you know, you should move on. And if you do go on, you know, you should be ready, which is pretty wild. And I don't think Joe Rogan meant that he should be ready because he wasn't ready the last time that he was on. I mean, that's not even an excuse. Again, Donnell had been on, on Kill Tony multiple times before that last appearance. So he knew what the show was about. I think what Joe Rogan meant was that he should be ready if he does go on the Kill Tony show in the future because he will definitely get destroyed. I mean, especially with that how big the show is now and also because now they know exactly what bothers him and the fact that he can't take a joke i mean that's pretty obvious because it's been almost three years and the fact that you know he's trying to lie and rewrite history when there's clear evidence full you know unedited evidence of what happened 
you know, I think that's pretty silly. For example, he was saying that the whole thing happened almost two hours and 30 minutes into the show and that he had been drinking a lot, which is not true. I mean, I don't know what he was drinking, but you could tell that he only had two drinks and the whole interaction, the whole thing happened one hour into the show. It was only one hour and then 15 minutes later, he was gone. That's when he walked out. And then the show kept going for like another hour after that. And even if he is trying to argue that he had um, a little bit too much to drink, I mean, telling that to somebody like Joe Rogan is probably not a good excuse because he himself has been hammered on that sh on that same show. And although, you know, it was pretty embarrassing, he did handle himself pretty well. This, okay, go rewind it. Did I? Now, this is what they did, Joe. They showed me talking to the comedian. Then look, look. All right, watch this. Is that me running off from a comedian? That's like, I'll be right back. Going to the bathroom. Look. Goes. Look. Keep following it. Walks off. To the bathroom. To the bathroom. Right. That seems I'm outrageous. making it race. The I don't, white man. I don't doc, feel like know, they should have done that. They shouldn't have done it. But your I, argument is me. about that. You first thing, and it worked on you, because you said, yeah, that time you walked out just... Can I and, call Tony right now? Yeah, just and the way you looked at me, the way you looked at me, he's like, what you going to do Tony about Hinchcliffe. it? Call Tony Hinchcliffe. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, dude, I'm here. Uh, you're on the podcast right now. I'm here with Donnell okay. Rawlings. And I'm still beefing, motherfucker. Tell him the real story. <laughs> Tell him the did real you, story. Did you edit you it out. the show to make it look like Donnell a was upset and he that a man it? clowned him Can and I he walked this? off the stage? A black man. Did you edit it? First off, <laughs> nothing, he, Tony, nothing Tony, was edited. Tony, you f***ing full of shit. Nothing man. was edited? So, Tony, what Tony. you see is actually the no. true events that took place? No. 100%. Oh. And, 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 and he never, you know, I mean, it's absolutely not even in question. You know, is Donnell trying to pull a PR move here? This is the reason why black I people mean, whatever have he's issues. Doing, it's very shady and he's trying to rewrite history. Now he can't this find it. This is outrageous, it. Tony. Can't find I don't know what to now think. Now he can't find it. We have... We have pictures of him outside of a firehouse uh, after the moment. He was saying hi to people at the oh. fire department. They were like fans of his. And he went and hung out with them. He had nothing to do. He had nowhere to go. Oh, he walked Lord, off the show. Lord, Lord. <laughs> this is getting worse. I can't believe you, I this, can't man. believe you left out details only to use them as a weapon when confronted by propaganda. Kudos to you, sir, for holding your cards. No kudos tony <laughs> supports black on black crime he pitted two black guys against oh, wait each a minute. other i thought you said that you went to the bathroom and none of that stuff happened they I, edited I it i went to the bathroom he, he said that he said that he was going to the bathroom but he walked all the way out the front door and also the thing that makes it even more interesting now is that like it or not the kill tony show is one of the biggest if not the biggest live show on youtube at the moment so because of that you know it is a massive platform that gives a lot of people a lot of opportunities so when it comes to donnell rawlings the fact that he hasn't been back on the show for over three years and now that the show is bigger than ever um while at the same time all of tony's and joe rogan's friends have been on the show multiple times it does make you wonder if tony has been consciously avoiding donnell and you know doesn't want him back back on the show because of what happened when he walked out and it does make sense because to be fair if you rewatch the whole episode Darnell was being kind of rude I mean not only did he walk out of the show and left Tony and Red, Red Band alone um, but even from the beginning the whole vibe was off it was almost as if he knew that he was doing them a favor so he wasn't really respecting the whole you know the rules or the structure of the show and instead he was trying to hijack it and uh make it all about all about himself he was interrupting a lot and then also showing off that he was there with uh, Chappelle's team and had someone uh interrupt the whole show to bring him drinks which was just uh again it was just so odd bunch of people signed up for the show tonight we have a couple surprises for you and uh also heather can i get my drink by chance heather 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 I'm sorry, was I rude? Who's Heather? Heather works for Team Chappelle. She works with our merchandise. Oh, okay. And she's our go-to girl for everything. She's amazing. Okay. From Yellow Springs, Ohio. Oh, Round of applause right. for Heather, everybody. Yeah. Round of applause. Yeah. Uh, I love it. You guys know how it works. A bunch of people signed up for the chance to do 60 seconds uninterrupted on this show and then Why talk with you... us afterwards. You know your time is up. You know your 60 seconds uninterrupted. Why are you making eye contact with me? <laughs> For those of you that don't know Donnell famously, while being one of the funniest and the best guests in the show's history, he's also the most interruptive. Yeah. I mean, I'm in the middle of a thing. You're ordering drinks from Heather. Yeah. 
and he has the most knocks of his microphone to the table. That's I'm true. Sorry, so that's that? why he has a little bumper. That was racist. <laughs> that was racist. That Here it is. 60 seconds uninterrupted from Cooper Patterson. Here we go. Cooper is the whitest name. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. Wait, this is the part. Remember the part one part? I got to shut up. Remember the one rule? <laughs> one minute. You can, you, it's it's the 60 okay, seconds. all right. I know that. Okay, all right. Stop it. Yeah, hold on. All Face right, first, the other way. Face the other way. Okay, first, the first off. It's a minute when they first start their first joke. Is that fair no, enough? No, no, it's not. When I, when I say their name for the last time, we did this show 496 times before you got here, Donnell. Son, I didn't know it meant that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not a race to talk before All they right, do. I'm sorry. And you was like, you just, you was mad. He's like, no, Donnell, you know the rules. What? No, it's just one minute. Famously, you've been on the show three times, Donnell. I know. Now, you could watch the entire episode or simply skip to the one hour mark to watch everything unfold and see how it went down because, to me, there is no debating what happened. It almost feels like if uh, Donnell is trolling because there is no way that he's actually trying to salvage the whole situation by straight up lying. I mean, that would be like if George Jenko randomly came out and said that he actually didn't walk out of the Impulsive podcast and instead he was simply, you know, going to the restroom and then he had... Uh, restaurant reservations. I mean, that would be silly. Even George owned up to it. And now that we know more about what was going on, you know, between him and Logan Paul, it's under it's more understandable. But when it comes to Donnell, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, what made him upset is the fact that they were making fun of something that he was actually insecure about, like the fact that he does interrupt a lot. And he did it on a big podcast episode with uh, Joe Rogan and, and Riza from the Wu-Tang Clan. And he received a lot of backlash for that. So because of that, when the new comic made a joke about it, Donnell got all serious and started doing the whole Dave Chappelle thing where he essentially explained or tried to explain why he interrupts so much. But it really wasn't working out. And then when uh, Tony and Red Band were making fun of him in the background and then, re and then he realized that the crowd was actually laughing at him, he was done. And that's when he walked out. Tony, thank you very oh, much. Thank you. Look, I, look, I see the truth now. It. I see the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. Donnell. Tony's a liar. That was shameful. I had to go to the bathroom. I get it. I had to go to the bathroom. I what get am I supposed it. to do? Sit there? Act like I'm in the woods? Yeah, it's just you and You uh, came to um, a gunfight with I a rubber sword. I didn't come to a gunfight. I wasn't there for that. Joke. I know. You were there to host. He didn't know you were going to get attacked ruthlessly. That's what. Why you were drunk. Me. Yes. Too they, drunk to defend yourself. Too drunk. That was very, right. They're very abusive. Very abusive. To our friendship. And I called Tony to every friend. I don't think you realized it was going to happen, though, to be honest. Like, I no one plans anything on killing. And Tony. this is what I'm saying black on black crime. Mm. I was given this black African American comedian some good advice on comedy. And then he just started shooting me. Fop, 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 fop. And I wasn't ready for that. I was like, "This, how could you do that to me? And then all the white people started laughing. Ha! Oh, look at the black on black crime. We don't got to do anything. They're killing themselves. Fa, 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 fa. And it was all, and Tony and his crew of henchmen, henchmen. set it up. Interesting. Henchmen. The Hinchcliff. Hinchcliff. Yes. And he lied. Mm. Just right now. People are going to believe that. He just lied. Seems like and he we wasn't only wanted lying, the truth. though, because we watched the video. I don't know what you saw, Joe. What did, I, what did you see? I saw something totally different. I saw a guy that had to go to the bathroom. Okay. That's what Okay, I, we settled it. I, we're, in, we're, we're in the world of editing. I had to go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom. And then I went to Got the bathroom. It. And then I did sushi. I really don't it's care. It's a new day. I'm, I'm cool. going to let it go. Yeah, let's let it go. Let's let it go. Didn't go well. Expected it to go. Uh -huh. But I appreciate the fact checking. And I appreciate the research. Of the doctored clip you had, Jamie. Thank you. <laughs> it is kind of rude, Jamie, that you did that to Donnell. I thought that's the one he wanted me to find. And once again, the fact that Joe Rogan actually called uh, Tony Hinchcliffe in the middle of the show just to expose Donnell, it's actually hilarious. And somebody pointed this out, but it's a... Uh, it's like a, it's a, it's a rare example of Joe Rogan actually trolling the guest and making fun of him. I mean, even Donnell said that it didn't go how he expected it to go. I mean, he probably thought that he was, uh, that he would just bring it up, that him and Rogan would, uh, would joke about it, and that he could potentially change the narrative. But he wasn't expecting Joe Rogan to be fully aware of what happened. And although lately I have been changing my mind on Kill Tony and Tony Hinchcliffe, at the end of the day, it is still a pretty unique show and a massive platform where a lot of people can uh, show showcase their skills and benefit from that so um, 
I don't think it was on, on, on the Kill Tony show or on Tony Hinchcliffe. And when it comes to Donnell Rawlings, I, I think it was all on him. And now looking back with everything that we saw, I do think that he definitely takes the number one spot for the worst guest appearance in Kill Tony history. And it does make sense why he hasn't been back ever since. Again, he was rude. He wasn't following the rules or the structure of the show. He didn't care about the whole thing. And then he ended up walking out and, and uh, left Tony and Red Band alone. So pretty rude. But yeah, I wonder if he will ever be back on the show. I think it would be pretty entertaining. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Dislike if you didn't like the video. But that is all we have for today. See ya.